upset after that first run, and after your first run, you seemed pretty upset, and you just came down. Well, I wasn't really, I mean, I was upset. Just, it just seems really strange that they have a three-minute break. You know, this is, it's obviously snowing. Yeah. It's not like nobody knew it wasn't snowing. So, and everybody knows it snows slow. And it, if you want to try to make an even race, you should have the floor to go. And then immediately following, just like it was no sled. So that was a little frustrating. We're standing at the top, watching it snow, and then the jury just says, oh, we'll have a three-minute break for you. It's, it's, three minutes of snow is a lot. That costs us a lot of time. And I think uh, going on first is always tough when it's snowing. But when you have that added element of extra time when you shouldn't be, it's kind of frustrating. So I was frustrated. Uh, and I made him a huge mistake in the first round, 13 minutes. Uh, you know, the things I haven't made a mistake in a long time, and it's frustrating as well when you... Nail the track except for one curve that you haven't had trouble with in a while. So, I mean, overall, it's a good race. It's a really good race. Um, three, tie for first place, three way. That's that's huge. Right? That, that's what the race is all about. I mean, I think there was two tenths between first and eleventh. So that's you know, that's fun. Then I wasn't even close. Yeah, I don't know about. That. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't make a mistake. I guess. I mean, he does. My 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 brakeman, uh, my pushers had a, a great start. Seventy eight, um, fast of the day. Um, Seventy eight in the snow. I mean, I wish it was great weather. We would have, would have been right there putting down that track record, uh, our start record. Uh, but it was a good day. I mean, uh, I cleaned up my second run. You know, the guys right behind me had to deal with the snow just in front of me. I uh, so kind of leveled the playing field a bit and uh, came away with it. Steve, what was your thinking at, between the second? You had a lot of time to think about it. A lot of time. Um, but but I mean, does, it, does your streak come into play at all, or is it just about um, trying well, to... I mean, it is what it is. When it's yeah. snowing like this, you kind of you got to go out there and do same like it wasn't snowing. Go as hard as you can, mm -hmm. drive the best you can, and uh, there's nothing I can do. If I could have stopped the snow, I would have, um, but I can't, Thank you. so I kind of got to I gotta deal with it. As much as, uh, as I'm a you know, skier at heart, I hate snow. Uh, I, I mean, I'm only saying that because I'm biased as a bobsledder, but I love snow. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, just, you just got to stay focused and do what we do, and uh, you can, just do your job. So what did you guys talk about, or what did you say to um, each other to try much. to... Not much. I think yeah. they were a little disappointed at the start. Uh, we were second, kind of second fast at the first run. I think uh, obviously the snow played a you know, part of that. And, uh, you know, we just knew we, knew we could step it up and go harder and, and go faster. And, uh, you know, they do their job, I do my job, we'll come out victorious. And, and how, do you, how do you feel? I feel good. I mean, yeah. uh, it's the first time I've, I've swept here in a couple of, couple of years, I think. So it's pretty nice to come home and show that the home track is uh, still my track. So... It's good. It's nice. Did your second run feel like a pretty perfect run or as close to as perfect as there yeah, is? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I had a, a pretty solid run. I hit all the marks that I wanted to hit. Um, I cleaned up the mistakes that I made. And, and uh, it was a pretty solid run. I'm very happy with it. Um, There's a few little mistakes, but I'm nothing that I would uh, really worry about. Yeah. So I think this is the first time you've had gold in two and four man in the first two races of the season. Um, yeah. So. so how does that feel? Let's start the season um, off that way. Good. Uh, we just got to keep the momentum, momentum going. I mean, uh, it's, well, it's real easy to get complacent at this point. You know, like, oh, yeah, we're, we're flying. And the second year, you kind of ease up a bit as guys are come flying past. I mean, we saw the first run. You know, they want to stop us and do anything they can to stop us. And, uh, it's going to be, uh, as we continue to do well, it's going to get harder and harder and a lot more pressure. Do you celebrate uh, these results? Uh, we do, but at the same time, you got to kind of stay humble and focused. Um, you know, we go, uh, go back to our place, kind of pack up our bags, load the sleds, and kind of hang out and chill and relax and, and uh, get ready for the flight tomorrow and cross the country and unpack and get at it again. So, so Lake Placid, that kind of feels like home track too, though. It is. I mean, I'm fortunate that I have basically two home tracks. Yeah. Know? I mean, this is home track just because I, I basically started here plus I was born and raised here, so I'm yeah. officially the home track. Yeah. Uh, but I've lived in Lake Placid for a long time, training at uh, the training center, so it's kind of my second home, and uh, it's my second home track. Uh, we're really fast there. We won multiple world championship medals there, multiple World Cup medals. Uh, it's an intimidating technical track, which plays into my experience. So I think we can continue our streak, if not do at least a medal. What do you say about, I mean, so so far the U.S. bobsled, skeleton, and luge, this is 11 medals in uh, yeah, two days. I think, uh, I think we're ready. I mean, Vancouver kind of got us motivated and focused. We knew what we had to do to, to, to be ready for Sochi, and we've... Uh, we stepped up our games. And, uh, it takes that first, first medal, that first, you know, victory, that first, you know, that first hump. And uh, once you kind of understand how to do it, you can improve on it and make it better. I think we really figure out how to be fast when you're the Olympics. Is there more camaraderie in the team this year than years um, past? Or? It's it's interesting. It's yeah. uh, it's a it's an interesting vibe. Uh, I mean, 
it's something that's it's hard for, for people to understand is we are all teammates. Yes. We're all competitors as well. So we are friends off the hill, but when we get on the hill, you know, yeah, we, we want each other to do well, but we also want to you know, beat each other as fast as possible. That's our goal. My goal is to beat USA 2 and 3. And, you know, the Germans and the Russians, and, you know, I want to beat everyone. That's my goal. And their goal is to beat me. And it's, there's no hard feeling. It's, this competition is what we do. Um, at the end of the day, you know, I think we go home and, you know, we're friends. We hang out. And, uh, yeah, it's good. I mean, we have a great team, a great group of guys. And we all get along well. And uh, it's actually probably the, uh, the best team that we've had in a long time. Right? Everybody does get along pretty well. I think it really lifts everybody up. You have you know, everybody getting along, there's not a lot of uh, negativity, and it's just uh, it's good. What's the trick for the second half of the season when you go to?